hello friend hello 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 my name is ginger i'm a priest with the celtic christian church welcome to coffee break prayer and um it's good to be here with you so um today i thought we could pray for our leaders now when we say that word a lot of us think immediately of like um politicians for example well it came to mind for me because this weekend my church is having our annual gathering of, of clergy deacons and friends with our bishop. So many of my colleagues are leaders of their communities. And of course, the bishop is our leader and all need, need prayer because what they do um, is not easy. At least in my church, sometimes it feels like even the clergy, I feel for the bishop. She's like trying to herd cats, like that expression, which I love because it really captures so much of life, right? Like we're trying to gather this and that, and then by the time you get this one, the other one's gone. So let's pray for all of our leaders. Um, I've been thinking, as I'm sure you have, a lot about leadership over the past few weeks. Um, you know, we can we have very vivid examples in the world right now of what positive leadership and negative leadership can do. Um, so I think as an American, for me, it's important for me to remember too. I grew up with the idea that leaders were people who were kind of like had this charismatic gift for attracting people. People would willingly follow, and that's what a leader is, someone who has people following them. The other truth, though, is that some people lead through violence and coercion. Like not all leaders are, are necessarily charismatic and attracting people to them. They have a leash that they yank people after them. I can think of, of course, politically dictators or even, you know, I think about some of the monstrous behavior in the world today. Um, so as we pray for our leaders, let's remember too that each one of us finds ourselves in that position probably more often than we realize. There are leaders in, of course, culture and the arts and social media and um, every dinner table has the opportunity for someone to to lead or redirect when things go negative, whatever. So let's pray for all leaders. But of course, um, today is October 29th, 2022. And last night here in the United States, um, one of our political leaders, someone who has a lot to do and a lot to think about, right? Nancy Pelosi, her husband was, was attacked and is now in the hospital. Um, and the police report that as the attacker came into the house, he was like, where's Nancy? So um, we need to pray for, um, obviously, for the people who are injured, both the attacker and Nancy Pelosi's husband are in the hospital. For people who created, led to create whatever kind of environment leads to political violence, and for all of us, that we would be wise. So here we are. Let's begin as always in the name of Abba, our creator, Jesus, our liberator, and the spirit who is holy. Amen. So friend, let's take a deep breath together to come back to now, where we encounter Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us, right here, right now. Let's take that deep breath together. And I invite you to breathe, keep breathing naturally, nothing forced, just to notice where you feel your breath. And um, if you're having trouble breathing, I'm very sorry to hear that. And as someone with asthma, I know how exhausting and frightening it can be to struggle for breath. So you are I'm assuming that you've already sought medical attention. If you haven't, please do so. But assuming that 
you're already kind of in a place where you're just waiting for things to get better and resolve, I invite you that you can, it's okay to focus on how uncomfortable that feels. That's part of the truth of where you are right now. And if you're somewhere in between, like, um, I also have a lot of allergies, sometimes I just don't want to think about the breath. You can, like, the idea, again, there's nothing magic about breath, per se. We're focusing, in this particular instance, on coming back to the present moment so you can think about, where are my feet? What are they resting on? How do they feel? If my feet are on the floor, how does that feel? Where are my hands, my fingers? Sometimes when I begin to pray, I need to pay attention to the muscles in my jaw, which tend to tighten up when I'm anxious or worried or nervous. And I'll be honest, just doing live streams, sometimes I feel my jaw like, especially when there are computer issues, my jaw right away tightens up. So Lord, grant us the peace and the grace to come back to this moment however we can. Let's take a few more moments to do that together. Thank you, friend. So, Abba, our heavenly parent, our loving God, thank you so much for blessing us with the gifts of life and breath. And we come together in a special way, I think, with elections coming up. We're thinking a lot about leadership and what it means. So we take up just a moment to lift up to you all those in leadership roles. We lift up, for example, we lift up um, the president of Ukraine and the leader of Russia. We lift up the president of the United States and the leaders in Congress and every Supreme Court justice. We lift them up to you to bless, not just so that you can change them to do what we want them to do, but so that deep within their own lives and in their own hearts, that they are blessed as human beings, as your beloved children and whatever they need. In a special way, we lift up to you Nancy Pelosi's husband and the man who assaulted him and those who created, who were leaders in creating whatever environment led that man to violence, that all these people as well would be blessed with your healing power and peace. And while we're on political leaders, Lord, we do ask that you bless them, Abba, with wisdom, deep, loving, true wisdom, the wisdom of the Hebrew scriptures and how to get things done and done well and done with justice and done in a way that loves the poor and all the vulnerable. Thank you. Fill our leaders' hearts and minds with all that they need to participate with you in this great mission, in this great divine human project, moving your reign forward right here on earth. We lift up to you all leaders in social media. I just saw the headline this morning about Elon Musk and Twitter, so we ask your blessing on the leaders of all the social media organizations that they would too would have wisdom and peace and courage to do what is needed to again do justice love mercy and walk humbly with you lord for every leader and families and friendship circles and support Court groups and churches like our own beloved Bishop Kate. We ask your blessing of peace 
and wisdom and courage. And for ourselves and all those who are helping to run the world around us, again, we ask your deep, rich blessing. Whatever each one needs as a human being and with what they need to help govern this world in a way that is good, that blesses the poor, that serves the vulnerable, that sees Jesus in every face. Thank you, precious one. We love you. Whatever little love we're capable of, you're so vast, help us to love you more. You are a true king and leader. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Be blessed, dear one, and thank you again for following me through this kind of wandering prayer. Can you tell we're not scripted? That's my husband and I joke a lot about that. Anyway, be blessed this day and every day. May you be blessed with wisdom, the practical skills, and understanding to how to get things done in your life in ways that are good and just. May you be blessed with courage and love and safety. May you be protected from all that would harm you. May you know the deep love of God for you so that that love in your heart might expand as well. Be blessed, dear one. In the name of Abba, our loving parent, Jesus, our liberator, and the Holy Spirit who longs to love you even more. Have a beautiful day, friend.